dropping like I'm going down, son. Welcome back to my channel. My name is David. Today's Sunday, and I'm feeling oh, freaking fantastic. Yo, oh, man, I can't All wait. Right. Back in the playpen. Right now, it... no idea. So what I did so far, and I didn't record it because I didn't realize that I didn't push record. Stupid. This is here to adjust the fan. What's gonna happen is it's gonna stay in the middle because that gives me consistent, very good temperatures. So when I'm editing, I'll just turn it up. Right now it's on, it's not attached yet. I'm soldering the wire and right, that's what, what I'm doing now. I'm gonna solder the wire for this so I can attach the connector to that side. Only when I need full power because once it's on medium, you can barely hear the damn thing at all. And it gives just enough. So right now, I'm gonna solder that connector to attach to that box. So right now, my temps on my system are running at 37 degrees Celsius, 98 degrees Fahrenheit. My clock speed is four gigahertz. Before, my temps were at uh, 98 degrees. So I got multiple readings going on here. I don't know which one to believe, okay? So as you can see, next cam is telling me that I'm running at 21 degrees Celsius. MSI is telling me 37. When I go to the MSI BIOS, it's telling me it's running at 45, 46. It's very strange. All I know is I got readings now, much better than what I was getting before. What I was running before with that 120. It's crazy. What we're gonna do now, uh, we're gonna solder this one is gonna go into the wall. Uh, then we're gonna solder these two, which are gonna get plugged into each other. And I got my trusty uh, little holding thing here. I got some fans that I'm gonna solder up. Uh, I got these aftermarket fans. I think they're for server units. They're just cheap, no names. But dude, these things can blow, man. And they're quiet blow. That's so weird. So, and I'm gonna adjust them through the, the BIOS. Now right, let's get started. As you can see, I picked up a couple of these things from the dollar store. Uh, they're, they're like magnetic things here, you see? So you can put stuff in them, then just hang them. So I decided to put my solder in there and uh, my tip cleaner. I need to get a freaking sponge. Plug this bitch in. They don't even know that I'm hurting. test to make sure these work that I didn't miswire something bring out my uh, <coughs> my trusty uh, tac life meter my five dollar meter all right so we start with pin one and pin one here that's good pin two pin three perfect working I didn't screw it up uh, so the temps are at 39 it looks like it went up a little right here 39 uh, it has been running for a little bit and also this says 26 and it was at 23 before so 38, there you go, 38, 39. So it went up a couple of degrees. What we're gonna do now is shut the system down and then start drilling and connecting the cable. And then from here, I'm gonna try to figure out how much cable I need for the connector so I can wire it to the back of this. This is actually where the control box is for that switch. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drill that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this attachment so I don't scratch anything over this. Dude. Dude, I bought this to install cameras at a friend's house. Ever since I bought this, I've already used this seven times. All right, so what we got is, this is the measurement that gives me plenty of slack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this part here. All right, so it's time to go through a few supplies, get them out, get them ready. All right, so what we got is a thermostat. We need this cable gland. I don't know what the hell they call this thing, but I need this to hold the wire to make it look clean. Oh, here's my terminals I was looking for. Some... Bought, bought something. I don't know what the hell. Just go back so they don't get lost. Dude, I literally, I had this. I bought this and it was one of those things that I was so like, I wanted for so long because of the way that they're long and easy to get into like deep sockets where they put the screws in. 
like TVs and stereos, things like that. But I was so cheap to buy it. I ended up buying it though for like 14 bucks. It's not, it wasn't as, what I wanted to pay was like, you know, 10 or 11, but it cost me like 14 with taxes. And I ended up buying this with terminal crimpers. I bought two of them. I bought the orange one and the yellow one. I don't know what gauge these crimps are. So that's the part we're gonna find out right now. So as you can see, there's some exposed copper wire here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to solder a little dot on each one just to give it that extra support. There you go, ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this thermostat. This is going to tell me uh, the temperature inside of this uh, little closet area so I know where it stands on coldness. Uh, just in case I, I start noticing the temperature dropping a little strangely. So I don't want to have any surprises when, when it hits uh, 2 degrees and my, this is a big block of ice in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it up and uh, take some measurements and try to cut it out. One hour later. So satisfying. All right, punk ass homies. Now I want to show you guys that now it's complete. Here you go. <clears throat> so I put the dial there to dial down. If I need full speed for uh, anything special, but most of the time it's gonna stay there. There's a thermostat <clears throat> that's gonna tell me how cold it is in that area, and also it's attached to the, 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 the radiator. So basically, in the morning or whenever I come home or something, I'll know exactly where the temperature is. The thermostat is showing 79, and that's attached to the radiator. The other thing I want to do is I'm going, I'm waiting for Amazon to send me uh, the voltage regulator, which is going to go right here. That's going to make sure that I keep it dialed all the time. <laughs> The next thing, like I said, is just going to be the voltage regulator, which is going to go right there. In here, on the radiator, it's actually coming up as 79 degrees Fahrenheit. So the radiator is not as hot as uh, the system is, so that's good. This wire is just hanging out to hold this in place right now. I'm going to put the clips. I already got the uh, the latches for uh, for this. That's just there in case, you know, like when I'm editing, and I'm editing, I'm in my fourth hour of editing, Dude, my shit gets, my, my system gets so hot. It's crazy. So there's the plug right there that I, I, I uh, put in there. All right, it's not, it's still drying the construction adhesive. So once that's dry, I'm gonna touch it up and then I'm gonna clean all that dust and then I'm gonna paint this underneath because there's no need, there's no other need for me to go in there and do anything else with it. So basically I just pull it out and it's dead, see? But because it has this screw here, I can screw it in later also. It's like 4.30 right now in the afternoon Sunday. If I don't eat something, I'm gonna pass out. So I'm gonna go eat. And uh, I wanna say thank you to you guys for watching this video. It's been a long day. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just waiting for, once that voltage regulator gets in, I'll throw it in. It's not a, really a priority right now, but I do want to add one. You know, just so I have an idea. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share my videos. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Perfect. Say I change it, I hope so. Still rock two chains.